Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records and just learned the news that uh, metal and hard rock guitar player Jake E. Lee has been shot multiple times in Las Vegas where he lives. He is okay. He is expected to make a full recovery. Uh, the Las Vegas authorities believe the shooting was completely random and occurred while Lee took his dog for a walk in the early morning hours. Um, the incident is under investigation. The family appreciates them, uh, you know, respecting his privacy. Um, again, expected to make a full recovery. Shot multiple times, um, which is terrible. He is fully conscious. He's doing well in intensive care at a Las Vegas hospital. Again, um, how random. Uh, there seems there's no motive. It sounds like he was just cro caught in a crossfire and hit multiple times you know jake has been suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome uh, for some time he's really unable to play right now uh, i think tony iomi's had a similar issue and had surgery that can repair that uh, so for him to get back out there you know jake's 67 years old he was born in norfolk virginia uh, grew up though in san diego influenced by Hendrix, influenced by Sabbath, influenced by Led Zeppelin. Uh, by the late 70s, he's on the Sunset Strip uh, doing the rock scene in the um, joins Mickey Rat in 1980. They'd go on to change their name to Rat. Uh, leaves that band, joins a band called Sextist. Uh, when Dio leaves Sabbath uh, in 1981, Jakey Lee does rehearsing with Jimmy Bain, Vinny Apice, and Ronnie James Dio. Uh, they cut some, so there's some recordings. Um, nothing was ever released, but these re recordings believed to still exist. That'd be interesting to hear Jake with, with Ronnie. But then later that year, or 1982, unfortunately there's a tragic uh, plane accident and Randy Rhodes from Ozzy Osbourne's band um, is killed. Um, Brad Gillis fills out the touring dates and when it's time for their next album cycle um, Jakey Lee is hired by Ozzy Osbourne and uh, they put out the great album Bark at the Moon. A lot of that material that I've watched interviews with Jake, Jake claims to have written that material on that album and I believe that because back in those days um, you know you're gonna go and sign those rights away uh, to the guy that's the his name is on the jacket of the record and that's just how things were done jake was not properly given his uh credits there um, and they follow up that bark of the moon album 1986 with ultimate sin have one of my favorite ozzy songs shot in the dark on it you know those two albums after the tragic death of randy rhodes really solidified ozzy's career and they were able to move on and have a successful, Ozzy was able to move on and have a successful solo career. Um, you know, Jakey e. Lee moves on from there to play with Ray Gillen. And Gillen, uh, in more recent times, he's had a band called Red Dragon Cartel, put a couple albums out, one in 2014, self-titled, and then Patina in 2018. These are really good records if you like Jake E. Lee's guitar playing. He's a you know, um, a fast flying player um, and um, really one of the guys that kind of defined that area in the 80s. Um, and uh, we wish you a speedy recovery. Um, hopefully the carpal tunnel piece gets fixed either with surgery or therapy. You can get back out there with the cartel uh, or whatever you want to do, but uh, we wish you all the best. Check out my channel. We do shows every day. Peace out. See you later.